In this video, I will be showing you how to make Reaper look like Pro Tools using the best theme for free. All the links are in the description to download. So first where you want to go is you want to go, go ahead and download Pro Tools theme. So here's the link. So go ahead and download this theme. So this is the site and you're going to just click down, come down here and click on download here so it will come up as zip file so you need to unzip it and extract the file inside there just wait for it to download so once it's downloaded this is the file you need to extract to your downloads folder so if I've already extracted all the files and you want to go to downloads folder and here I have got all the files that are in the description to download so the one I just downloaded and extracted is this one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, how Reaper looks like in the original version so this is the original version of Reaper and this is how it looks like uh, when you first open it up without the theme being applied so to apply the theme what you need to do is you need to go to your downloads folder and copy this theme into your directory folder of Reaper go to file right click on Reaper in the desktop and go to file location or you could go program files Reaper and go into install data then go to color themes and paste this so I've just now pasted the theme here so what we're what gonna do next is you're gonna go to your Reaper you're gonna go to options preferences then you wanna go up to general then go here and click export configuration so make sure you check all of these boxes So I've checked all of the boxes then click save and I'm gonna save this into an important folder so I'm gonna call it original Reaper so now it says success click OK so what I have done is just I have exported the original uh, settings of the Reaper if, if you don't like the theme then you can come back to the theme by importing that configuration that you saved to your documents folder so now to apply the theme what you need to do is go to import configuration you, you need to go to Reaper and go to the folder where you saved it so here my file is inside the Reaper directory folder so I'm gonna go to Reaper and give this directory name so there is the Pro Tools theme so click open and click OK so make sure all of these are checked click import and now click cancel here I'm gonna close this for now so now it will come like this so what you need to do again is you need to go into uh, setup go to preferences then you need to import the configuration which you saved earlier in the first time so you need to import your original one back 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 again so there's the original one we saved I'm gonna click on it then click OK then click uh, uh, leave everything as it is click import so now it's imported back to the original theme and you want what you want to do is now you want to go to options and you want to go to default main main options then you go to themes and there you have the theme here so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this theme so now you've got the proper Pro Tools theme so next what you want to do is now you're gonna close Reaper then you're gonna install this extension uh, when you go to the uh, download page it will ask you whether to install for 32 or 64 bit choose your operating system then click uh, download then download it and launch it launch the program 
and click agree install so close that one now so now you now now you have just two two of these uh, files so the key map file which is this file you're gonna uh, copy this one and paste that into the repo directory folder so go to open file locations go to uh, install data then you need to go to key maps and paste this here click continue once you have pasted um, the file into repo's folder the key map file uh, go ahead and open up um, repo let me go ahead and open it up so to set the key map uh, file you need to go to setup then go to default menu main actions show action list then go to import export import then go to your uh, directory where you saved the key map so uh, for example mine is in uh, program files and repo here install data and key maps and here is the file we just copied then I'm gonna click open so now I've got all the keys for Pro Tools same as Pro Tools so in case you want to change some keys for example you want to change it to your own uh, say like bringing bringing up the mixer you can type in mixer and go down and no first uh, is best is to check which key is uh, for the mixer so what I usually do is I, cl I right click on it and uh, see uh, which key is set to open up the mixer so if I go view and go to default, men default menu and here all, this, all, all the stuffs that I want to bring up so I know which key is set to that so the mixer is set to uh, alt and m so if I want to change it I can add another one so I'm going to choose control and m so add it then remove the previous one delete that one so now close it now if I press control and m I can toggle on and off the mixer so the next thing I want to show you is the color I don't really think this works but you could give it a try but I don't know how it works so I'm gonna show you anyway so uh, what you want to do is go to windows then go to default menu main extensions then go to auto color icon layout then right click here show color management window then go to load color set from file then uh, you should uh, go into your directory uh, of the thing or of where you saved it so I'm gonna save the color directory here so let me go to my downloads page uh, and copy this color set and I'm gonna paste it here so I've just pasted the color set into the uh, program files repo install data I'm gonna open this one so I think it uh, it's applied now so I'm gonna now cross it out so that's all then the next thing I want to show you is uh, how to how to get all these kind of uh, tools up here like cutting and pasting and all the stuff like Pro Tools so what I'm going to do here you go where it says regions markers tempo time base right click anywhere here then click uh, switch toolbar then you want to click on tools click on tools then click here where the, um, the black uh, uh, the grey area is click there then go to position toolbar and tick at the top of the main window so now you've got all these uh, uh, shortcuts I mean all these kind of tools here on the top main bar uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and insert a new track so when well, once you apply this theme this is how uh, when you want to create a new track this is how it will pop up it will ask you whether you want to create an audio track, aux, aux track, instrument track or master track so I'm going to choose audio track I'm going to add a bus so to add a bus you go here go to insert new track so I'm going to call this a bus and I'm going to call this record so here you can see the mic working so if I want to record something 
I'll just click on this. So I'm going to go ahead and record a short uh, song track. I'm not a good singer, so I'm just going to give it a try to give you an example of how to mix and stuff, uh, the basics. So I'm going to go ahead and sing a short song. She was, was a true love of mine. <coughs> She was, was a true love of mine. So here is my recorded track. So I'm going to go ahead and split uh, this track. So yeah, as you can see, uh, I want to press somewhere in uh, in the track, like in the, tri in the timeline. I want to press in the middle, but it's not letting me. It's only letting me to press on the blue lines so to do to fix that you need to click slip so automatically it will be set to grid when you open it up you need to set it to slip then you can click anywhere you want so here I'm gonna just split the track so I'm gonna split delete this so Let's listen to it. She was, was a true love of mine. She was, was a true love of mine. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this to the bus track. So, the bus track, I'm going to apply the reverb. So, you apply the reverb on the bus track. So, reverb, you go to Cockers that's the, the uh, original uh, plugins so I'm gonna apply that reverb and I like to use the preset bad crunch I like to turn the dry signal all the way down to low and keep the wet signal as it is and you can also add additional effects in this bus so you can click add and add any more effects you want like equalizer and um, stuff like that so I'm just going to keep it with the reverb. So as you can see, this is my bus and it has reverb added. So to route my track to the reverb, what I do is bring up the mixer here. So you could ha you could choose to have the mixer like this or you can choose to have the mixer like this. So I recommend having the mixer like this because you can you have more space to work with your tracks and you can just extend it if you if you want by dragging this arrow so here you see all these kind of boxes that at the top it's where you put the effects on the track and at the bottom boxes that's where you want to send the track to the bus or another uh, uh, orgs track or whatever so as you can see here this is my uh, bus track I've added the reverb onto it and this is my vocal track, which is called audio. I'm gonna rename it vocal. So that's my vocal track. And if I want to add any EQ on the vocal track, I'll just simply go here and add any of these kind of effects. And so now to route the vocal to the reverb, uh, to the bus track, I just click on track send and click add new send and to the bus, which is the second track. So close this. Then once you've done that, go back and click on it again. And here you can control how much reverb you want on your vocal. So this is the post fader. Uh, so um, I recommend you use the post fader because uh, I recommend you don't play around with this um, volume knob because this is like the volume knob for the reverb. So I recommend if you want more reverb, then don't touch this knob just uh, play around with where it says um, bus the post fader play around with post fader so I like to keep it as keep it at 5 so 5 plus uh, so I keep it at 5 and let's see how that sounds Thank you. She was, was a true love of mine. She was, was a true love of mine. So let's play it without the reverb. 
I'm gonna mute the bus track. She was was a true love of mine. With the reverb. She was was a true love of mine. If I wanna turn the reverb, then I just put on zero dB. And let's see how that sounds. She was was a true love of mine. I personally like it at five, so I'm gonna leave it at five. So if I wanna, I'm thinking about adding some auto tune here. So I don't usually like to add auto tune, but let me show you how how to add auto tune. So you go to ins insert the track effects here on the vocal track. Go here, then go to retune, which comes with it. Click OK, then go to correction. I tick this box automatic pitch correction then you want to click on uh, D uh, whichever key your song is in so my song is in D minor so attack time is set to 250 so if you set it at zero that that means uh, it's full of uh, full of auto tune so if you set it as 100 then the more number uh, the less auto tune it is the less of the number uh, the more auto tune so i'm going to leave it at zero and see how it comes out she was was a true love of mine she was was a true love of mine i personally don't like auto tune so i'm going to take off the auto tune so to remove the effect you just go to here then you go, you need to unload the plugin so click right click on the effect right click unload plugin so now i've removed the plugin the auto tune plugin she was was a true love of mine so now i've got the vocal so to export this vocal you go to file export audio file then i'm going to choose 48 hertz you can choose higher if you want so it will be saved in this directory so click render I'm gonna just choose extreme render one file then it's now rendered you can choose to show an explorer and here is my uh, exported track so that's how you use this software and I'm happy with uh, the way it looks and how easy it is to use just like Pro Tools, and and one more thing is, uh, you want to if you want to change the track color, then you go to the track, uh, right click on this gray area here, right click on it, then go to default menu, then go to track color, and I'm gonna set it to maybe yellow. So now my track is set to yellow. So that's all. Uh, if this video has helped you, hit the like button, and. Thank you for watching this tutorial.